Hey guys, I'm Leah Kuypers. I'm the creator and author of the Zones of Regulation. And today I want to share with you some ideas on how you can make your own Zones of Regulation check-in for you and your family while we are doing distant learning. So step one is watch this video and you're already doing that. And I've included with this a checklist that you can go through each of the steps of how to create your own zones check-in at home. In step two, I want you to think about what you want your zones visual to look like. Maybe you just use the handout that we've included for you. You can color in the four zones and use a post-it to represent each person in your family so that they can be checking in. Maybe you want to use Legos and create a Lego character to represent each person in the family. Maybe you're gonna use magazines and put together a collage. Be creative and take a moment to brainstorm what's gonna work for you and your family. In step three, you're gonna be gathering your materials to create your check-in. You might think about getting scissors, glue, maybe magazines, Legos, uh, paper clips or clothes pins to put your name on, maybe post-it notes. Uh, so I'll give you a moment to do that and you can press pause and we'll come back together once you've got everything together. In step four, we are going to be doing the creating. When you create your zones check-in, make sure you have each of the four color zones shown, as well as a way to represent each person in your family. You might even want to include a pet. I'm gonna go get my family and get some help in creating our zones check-in for our family here at our house. So let's go. Next, W. w. What do you think about that turtle? He's in the blue. I think so too. I... Then we have the blue. How are they feeling? Maybe bored or exhausted. Yeah, that makes sense. So here's Libby, our dog. And here's Craig, the crayfish. In step five, we're thinking about where is an easy place to have our zones check in. Maybe it's in your kitchen, maybe your living room, someplace you spend a lot of time so that people can check in throughout the day. Lastly, step six is start checking in. Now that we have our zones checking up, we need to use it. We recommend at least one time a day, everyone in the family check in. But the more we check in, the more we can recognize how we're feeling and find our tools to take care of those zones, as well as see how other people in our family are feeling and help each other out. Libby lays around in the blue a lot. Where are you now? Let's check in with our zones this morning. Where are you guys at? How are you I'm feeling? In the green zone. I'm all happy. Red and yellow. I'm in the green. Daddy, how about you? Daddy's in the blue. Tired or bored? I hope you and your family stay healthy and I know you guys are working hard to regulate your zones and get through all those challenges that come with staying at home. All my best. Bye-bye.